we are constantly by a lot of members of the opposition including Rahul Gandhi uh, there is an attempt to paint all media houses to paint all journalists with a single brush but the moment we do try to then give you space and platform to put across your yatra on air this is the sort of behavior uh, that you get okay you're a major political party in the country uh, you're conducting uh, electoral politics during a major political season elections are due in the country and they are a once in a five-year event nobody's doing a special favor the reporter is simply there doing his job that's his job there are mm, mm, the, the, the clip that you're seeing on your screen is, of course, where it ended. Preceding that, he's covering what Rahul Gandhi is saying. The camera is listening to what Rahul Gandhi is saying. But the point is, what is the attitude with which we are engendering things? There is an attitude issue which is being portrayed here, where a seasoned political leader is instigating his own carder by taunting a journalist. You don't want to answer the question. Fair enough, you don't have to. You want to give whatever answer, fair enough. If there is a rough and tumble that happens in, 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 a, in a rally because it's chaotic, that can happen. Accidents can take place. We've all done ground reporting. We understand how it works. But if you're pointedly looking at someone, okay, taunting them, all right, and taunting them on their names, on the, on the, on the tasks, and then taking a signal from your taunts, your carders are then assaulting the person, you are saying, record it on camera, mat maro. So if you're saying mat maro, that means the person is being beaten up, no. Now what is supposed to happen? Now there is no sensible, erudite, well-meaning person, okay, who can come and say that this was something to be proud of. We have started beating up journalists in a Bharat Jodo Yatra professing love and unity on the basis of their caste. It is, like I said, for sensible people who want to put the, nation, the nation's interests ahead, and the nation's interest is that electoral politics will come and go, the election cycle will end in a few months, it will shift to different, a different arena. This is going to come and go. And in the course of, the, of when push comes to shove, we get defined by who we are and who we represent. And if our entire doctrine of theology seems to be indicating that the message we want to send out is one of respect, of tolerance, of getting along together, of building bridges between communities. And when we, in, in our practice, we are beating up people or having people beaten up in front of our eyes. There's no disconnect. The reason this is so deeply upsetting is this is not an incident that has taken place somewhere on the sidelines of a rally, which may be the senior leadership in its proclivities and sensitivities is unaware of. This is happening in front of your eyes. It is happening instigated by taunts made by you. It is happening on the basis of caste identity politics. And after having seen it in front of your eyes, after yourself having said, mat maro usko, what does mat maro mean? Mat maro means that an assault is taking place and post facto, Potentially, after having instigated the assault, you are saying, Mat maro. You're trying to stop the assault. Too little, too late. It's your people doing it, perhaps emboldened, perhaps inspired. We don't know. What is the action you're taking? So the question is, what are you telling the carders? Are you doing shabash? Good. Beat up people on the basis of their caste. Demand caste certificates from reporters when they come to ask you questions. Is that what you're trying to indicate here? Because that's the unfortunate indication that we are taking away from this. I have never seen this happen before. This is a first time, rare, unique occurrence that a very senior political leader, an erudite leader coming from the echelons of power in this country is instigating an attack on journalism, on a journalist, on the basis of a caste identity being totally unaware that what his poster behind him in the rally said about OBCs, the man himself is an OBC. And what is the response? There is none. Now you cannot claim ignorance that, all oh, oh, right, sorry, we weren't aware. These were a bunch of ruffians misbehaving. We regret it. 
there is no response it's happening in front of your eyes your entire senior leadership knows and what is the imagery of rahul gandhi that we've just seen is for him to decide what is the image he's sending out to the country so all the things that you claim to stand for you have to practice what you preach you don't have to be in agreement with anybody you certainly don't even have to be in agreement with the media with news channels with editors you don't have to be in agreement with them but you have to have a certain level of decorum and we expect a certain level of decorum i expect a certain level of decorum from myself i expect a certain level of decorum from you i expect a certain level of decorum from our reporters if our reporter had be, had been had been egregiously misbehaving then it was something that was a disciplinary matter very serious disciplinary matter you don't expect the news reporters to be out there and saying what is your caste what is your father's name what is your grandfather's name are you upper caste lower caste and on that basis we'll get you beaten up and then after you getting beaten up we'll say no no let's not beat you up i don't expect that to be happening that's criminal so there are of course you know it's it's leaving some very troubled yes of exactly what should not be happening and it's happened in such a way and now and a couple of hours has elapsed uh, one would have expected immediate regret that hasn't come our way it hasn't come the way of the reporter uh, one is in total shock because i have never seen this happen that a senior political leaders rally one of our reporters is being assaulted under his very eyes it's un- it's unbelievable it is it is more than egregious for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon